Shine on, this is my friend Simon. Simon, do you want to tell all of my fans and friends what, what you do? Um, I travel, make videos, and I want to tell the real story of Jaywick. I love that. Thank uh, you, Simon. Good. That's just, you sound good very like me. myself. Mate, that's it, because like, you see stuff in the media and it's not yeah. right, is it? And I just want to come here and experience it with a local and see what it's really like. Mate. You want to see it for yourself? Mate, 100%. You want to do Jaywick justice? 100%. Shine on! How you doing? <laughs> hey! <laughs> so as you can see, you're in safe hands with Danny Sloggett Vision. Appreciate that. They call me Mr. Jaywick. And we just come to this sign, Simon, Clapton Heritage Trail. So oh, what oh. is the history of it then? Well, this is it. Let me just give you a quick taste. Look at it in its heyday. Look at it in its heyday. You can see we had a miniature railway. That's, and that's gone now, is that, it? That used to be the train station for the miniature railway. Oh, and it, it used to go a mile to Tudor. And when did that go? That went in the 1940s. Did it? Basically, during World War II, they dug up all the track and used it for the war effort. Ah, then okay. in 1949, they did it for about a, a quarter of the length for a year, but it never worked. Really? So we lost the railway around 1949. But you can see that it was good for the area. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of people have been trying to restore the miniature railway. But anyway, let me give you a little read. As motoring grew popular among London middle classes, adventurous entrepreneur uh, Frank, Frank, Frank Stedman came looking for a location to develop in 1929. He saw the opportunities and imagined the summer pleasures Jaywick and its beaches offered, so he brought it. As chalet sold for £50 each, Frank built West Road to improve loops of Clapton and Sea. As years passed by, people began making their chalets more homely and started to live in them for longer periods. Even though the winters, small businesses such as Docks become established, serving the growing population. Jaywick Sands and its various parts, grasslands, brooklands, the village and the Tudor estate gradually became residential. So they're the four parts of Jaywick. You can see our history now, I've just showed you it. The railway, and I'm now going to walk you through here, the village, yeah. to Brooklands there. Yeah. To Grasslands over there. Yeah. And then I'm going to take you all the way back to Tudor Estate. Amazing. Simon, appreciate that. You mate. will never be the same after this walk round with Danny Sluggett <laughs> Vision. And well, nor will you shine on. <laughs>